Welcome. Let's introduce the idea of dilation. So let's consider the following scenario. Here we have triangle BCD. And here we have a point outside the triangle, which we're going to call A. Let's consider some lines. Let's connect point A with B. And let's do the same from A to C. And let's do the same from A to D. Let's consider the distance from A to B. That's about 3.5 centimeters. Now, what will happen if we double that distance? So now starting from B, let's do another 3.5 centimeters, which is about here. Let's place a new coordinate point. Now let's find the distance from A to D, which is about another 3.5 centimeters. Let's double that distance, which is about there. Let's create a new coordinate point. Let's find the distance from A to C which is about 6.42 centimeters. Let's double that distance, which is about there. Let's create a coordinate point. Let's change the color to the coordinate points that we have just defined. Now let's connect those points. Let's give it a name. Is there any relationship between the two triangles that we have just defined? Well, we can say that the green triangle is two times as large as the white triangle. But let's understand why is that true. We started by measuring the distance from A to B. And then what we did, we doubled that distance. And that was the same thing that happened from A to D. We measured the distance and then we double that distance. And that's the same thing that happened from distance from A to C. We found that distance. And then we double that distance. Because the distance got double, then the dimension of the object got double as well. And this is the idea behind a dilation. A dilation, it is the idea of creating an image by a certain scale factor, which in this case, the scale factor, it's of a value of two. And the parameter that we use for scale factor, it's the letter K. So we can say that we got triangle BCD. And then we created this green triangle. That was twice as big as the Y triangle. And the point that we were creating our distance from is something that we call a point of dilation. So you can think of this as just projecting over point A. Let's understand the importance of the location of the dilation point. So here we have a triangle ABC, and we have a point of dilation of P at 1 comma 1. Let's start by creating a dilation of a scale factor of 2. Now, how is that big triangle getting affected if we move around the point of dilation? Notice that as we move in this point of dilation, the shape of the triangle B prime C prime A prime does not change. The only thing that changes is the location of the triangle. The closer the point of dilation is to the original triangle, the closer the image will be. The farther this point of dilation is from the original triangle, the farther my image will be. And because we're always projecting from the point towards the object, Notice that as we change the location of my point of dilation, the location of the image of my triangle also changes as well. Let's take a look at another example. So let's consider D to be our point of dilation. And let's draw different lines from point D to point C, B, and A. Let's measure the distance from A to D, which is about 10 centimeters. Now let's half that distance. So let's create a new point at five centimeters. And let's do the same from point B. The distance from B to D 
it's about 14 centimeters. So let's cut that in half. So let's create a new point at seven centimeters. And let's do the same with C. The distance from C to D, it's about 10 centimeters as well. So let's cut it in half. And at five centimeters, let's create a new point. Now let's change the color of those points. Now let's connect those points. Let's give it a name. Let's call it FEG. And now let's think about, is there any relationship between these two triangles? Let's remind ourselves how we define this green triangle. We started by looking at the distance from A to D, and then we have that distance. And then we look at the distance from B to D, and then we have that distance. We look at the distance from D to C, and then we have that distance. So if we cut all those distances by half, then we have created a new triangle that is also gotten smaller by the same scale factor of one half. In other words, triangle FEG, it is the result of a dilation on triangle ABC by a scale factor of one half. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.